What's up, YouTube? John without the H here. My bud Tony's filming today. And we've got the Yas 39. Golly, golly fun. Screwed it up. This is an amazing jet. I actually recently redid the internals. Uh, Tony can zoom in from back there. You can see all the nasty wiring that's in there now. It's uh, not as pretty as it used to be, but now I have the center of gravity balancing. Uh, let's see here. At about at about right here, which is way better than it was before. So the jet is now closer to being neutral. It's a much more awesome jet to fly now. So let's get that battery in there. Uh, we also have the 5280RC afterburner system in from Larry as well. Uh, so we're gonna connect that as well. I said as well three times. And somebody actually mowed the other side of this runway. So we're not gonna have the repeat of the same problem we had yesterday with the Viper jet, which has been repaired and we're gonna be featuring it again soon. A little bit of wind gusts out here though, but this jet should be able to handle it the way I programmed it. Uh, one of the major consequences of getting the CG back meant that I could actually change the, uh, the canards so that they're a lot more powerful in the uh, stabilization system. So we're gonna have, hopefully have some fun here. Tony's gonna walk down. We're gonna get this jet set up and ready to go. There we go. Get her tracked and lined up. We're gonna use the takeoff mode with the canards only, which I'm demonstrating right now. I don't know if you can see it. So the canards pretty much uh, are the only thing that moves. This stabilator, sorry, uh, elevons in the back do not move. All right, here we go. Going up. All right, let's do some low-level high alpha passes with this thing first, now that we've got the stabilization dialed in really well. 20 seconds. To do this, though, requires a little bit of uh, finagling, so we need to get a bit further out for this. seconds. Because the jet doesn't want to slow down, and it just wants to keep on flying. Using the rudder to turn the plane a little bit. There we go. It doesn't like to do banked turns as much as I would like it to. Okay, hold the nose back. A little turbulent out here. Let's see how agile this jet is. Hopefully Tony can track this because it's gonna be going vertical. One minute. See how much better it is now? How it slides directly into like, it just hovers like a kite. It has no issues with agility. Like it pretty much does whatever you tell it to now. Within reason, of course, it still is a Delta wing jet. Let's do a quick inverted pass with the wind. Good thing we got a little bit of smoke and clouds out here today, so you guys can see what this thing's doing. Still getting my bearings in. I flew this plane off camera to really kind of be able to demonstrate some of what it can do today. But it's a, it's a handful in this wind. It's a little gusty, but thankfully we don't have all that tall grass to worry about anymore. Two minutes. Twenty one point oh two volts. All right, we got to get ready to land already. These four K packs don't last very long. Tony's a smart guy. He can see the plane coming in when that landing light comes in, so he knows what to do. I just got to keep the plane coming straight down the runway is all. Six. There we go. Got to point the canards down a little bit with that 4K pack. Forgot to trim it out. Got a nice sink rate. Look at this thing come in. It's so nice. Even in this, even a little bit of this turbulence, it's not bad. There we go. Had to get away from the grass. Air brake mode. Air brakes out. And we're Gucci. Good stuff, guys. Cruise mode. We're going to switch into the next segment. All right, guys, we're back with the Yas 39 Griffin. Having a hard time talking, it's hot out here. 
So we're gonna do some more alpha stuff with this jet now that the canards are trimmed right. I was just so excited to fly it again and forgot that I'd flown it on a 6K pack last time that I didn't bother to trim it, but it flies fine. It's just better with the nose down trim on the canards as you can see there. Let's go. Cruise gear up. I'm gonna save some of more power. And we're gonna turn the heading mode on the canards so that the uh, they'll actually try to stabilize it in high alpha and you guys will see it work. It's really cool to watch. Okay, we're gonna get far out and then as we get slower, we're gonna enable it because it might make the plane start pitching wildly because it's only designed for slow speed. I didn't design it for any other mode. Hold the stick back. I'll have to do some low level inverted high alpha too if I can get her to do it. 24.38 volts. Come on, baby, slow down. Heading. I'm hands off the stick right now, and it's holding itself up with the heading on the canard. It's good to go. AS3X. I'm gonna go around again. I didn't do the pass low enough where it would be actually impressive to watch. Four minutes. So, get that. 23.02 volts. Get that battery call out going so I know how much power I have to work with. It is unfortunate these 4K packs don't last very long, but they do provide the best performance on this plane in terms of agility because they put the center of gravity right where it needs to be. And in my experiences, I'm about 40 millimeters back right now from the CG marks on the wings. I don't recommend doing that if you're still new to the jet. Definitely work your way back because it, it gets much more touchy. Heading 23.65 volts. Okay, we're in heading mode. Oh, thought I almost hit Tony there. Hands off the stick now. AS3X. Looks like he got bit by something. Some kind of insect messing with him. We put those insect repelling bands on, but I think he didn't have it on his hands, so it may not have had any effect. 22.88 volts. All right, let's go for one more alpha pass. With the canard mode, it's so cool to watch them work and stabilize the jet. Five minutes. 22.86 volts. I got enough power to go around one more time. And this alpha stuff that we're, we like to do with these delta wing jets. And then in the case of the Viper, heading non-delta wing jets. Man, hands are getting sweaty out here. Let's jet get lower. It's a little bit of porpoising from some turbulence. Oh, here we go. Twenty-two point nine three volts. AS3. Right, let's turn it around and get ready to land. Okay, bringing the gear out. We got a little bit of a crosswind, so that should make it interesting to land. Altogether, a much better day to fly than yesterday gear with that down. colossal fiasco of trying to land both of those Vipers. What a, what a crappy day that was. 22.75 volts. I'm enjoying this though, it's so tuned. It's really flying well now. Air brake mode. This jet I've had since April of 2021 and I've actually March of 2021 and I've flown it. It's gotta be my most flown jet out Cruise of all the mode. jets that I own. It's just so unique and special. And now I'm glad I've, I've put the time into making it fly as good as it probably should fly or should have flown. You will get over here. No, it won't. I gotta go get it. Thanks for watching guys. More to come shortly. All right guys, we're just gonna get straight to the point. Same thing as uh, last time, same 4K pack. Smart 50C. Let's uh... Take off mode to turbine engage. Let's figure out, there. Wasn't sure why it wasn't engaging. There we go. Cruise gear up. Way more agile now. Look, look at it go. Thirty seconds. Okay, we're gonna go to the right or left. I meant to say left. Go to the left. We're gonna make an inverted alpha pass. I want to see just how well the jet can do it now. I had some luck with it before. 
can get a little further out on here. That way we can actually plan for it. The wind finally died, so there's almost no turbulence left. One minute. Okay, we're gonna gently hold the nose up. Push the wrong direction on the rudder. Just about lost it. But it does do inverted alpha. You can see me holding the stick all the way back, so we're just gonna flip right over and do it again. Zero twenty one point six one volts. Got to use a little bit of stick pressure to get that rudder to turn it. Whoa, the way that nose uh, flipped up there. Again, that's one of those uh, things I was talking about where uh, you have issues with center of gravity. That's what you got to be concerned with is if you're not used to it being more agile, you can easily over control and crash it. Two minutes heading. So we can get it for a nice low level alpha pass. AS3X, 21.97 Before volts. we can do that, we actually have to turn the jet and get a little further out. We're gonna get one chance at this and then we gotta turn around and land. But yeah, I mean, this jet is so much more agile and fun with this new CG setup. So if you guys have been confident with the plane, I'd recommend, Heading. definitely recommend checking it out. There's these guys in their dirt bikes to go away. AS3X. A little too fast for it, there we go. Heading. Slow it down. 22.72 volts. Try to keep it in alpha, we turn around. AS3X. Stalled it. Stalled it at the end there. I gotta turn her around now. Wasn't expecting that. Get too far up and then you can't land. Or you can't fly. Gear down. Signal strength 35. 22.47 volts. Yeah. 21.45 volts. All right. Got to make this one count. Three minutes. Turn her around. Yeah, the key with landing uh, Delta jets like this, but they don't have flaps, is just to hold the nose up on approach and modulate your throttle. And then the plane will start sinking on its own accord. It's pretty cool. Air brake mode. There we go. I think we're going to call it quits on this jet for today. I hope you guys found this interesting and useful and informative because man, if you can get your wiring pushed back as far as it goes, mode. you're going to find this jet flies so much better. Uh, you can do so much more with it, including in like inverted alpha, which I could probably do even more with. Of course it gets caught by the grass but hey tony and i say thanks so much for uh, 2,000 subscribers and if you guys could maybe hit that like and subscribe button again and tell a friend we'd so love to have them here see you guys next time cheers